We are all familiar with this size of paper and it's universally called the A4 size paper. It's actually a series of paper all the way from A0 to A7. And the unique thing about this is that the ratio of length to the breadth in all the papers of this series is the same. And another interesting thing about this is that each subsequent paper is half the previous one. So for instance, I can combine these two A4 paper to make an A3 paper. Or I can divide A4 in two parts and this is A5. So the red paper is A3, this is A4 and half of this is A5. And what's interesting about this is that the ratio of each of this series is exactly the same. In other words, their shape is exactly the same. It has been zoomed and increased. Both sides have been increased by the same amount because the ratio is exactly the same. And now whenever the sides are increased, the area becomes square of that. So whenever the sides are doubled, the area becomes four times. In this case, however, the area has become half because A5 is half of A4. So size of A5 must be increased by square root 2 for the area to become double. And therefore, the ratio of larger side of A5 to the larger side of A4 must be in the ratio of root 2. And the larger side of A5 is actually the smaller side of A4. Therefore, the ratio of smaller side to the larger side of A4 must also be root 2. And you don't need to do any equations or calculations to prove this. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.